marketing superhero Julia Tain here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to check your privacy settings on social media. As I discussed in a recent in radio interview with 3MP, I talked about the implications of having a public social media profile and why social media um, accounts generally make your profile as public as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make your profiles public, uh, private for the most popular social media channels out there, that being Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. So what I'm going to show you first is Facebook. Now, Facebook, when you first set it up, is generally very uh, public. And they do that because they want to be able to gain as much data about, about your profile so they can tailor better advertising messages to you. So to change your privacy settings, what you need to do is the following. You log on to your Facebook account as you would normally, and you click over where it says Privacy Shortcuts. Here you'll see um, a section on Privacy Checkup. So here you can see who sees your posts, and so forth. So here it tells me that friends, that only friends can see my future posts. It also tells me who can contact me and what to do if I want to stop or block someone uh, from basically being able to contact or access my social media profiles. Facebook of course has um, more settings that you can also look at as well. So if you want to stop search engines that side of Facebook link into your profile and so forth. It's really important to know that from time to time Facebook will change its privacy settings. So it's very important that you make sure that your privacy settings are reviewed probably quarterly just to make sure that you're happy with people seeing what, what, um, what they can see and so forth. The other thing I want to show you is let's just say with your profile Let's just say that you've decided that you have a post that you actually would like it to go public. You can actually change the privacy settings of individual posts by clicking down where the drop down is, where you can see here with the two people. Here it shows that only my friends can see it and you can change it to public or only me um, depending on whether you want to actively have a message out there. So there you go. That's a simple way to check your privacy settings for Facebook. Next, we'll move on to Twitter. So like Facebook, Twitter is very active um, in making Twitter profiles as public as possible. It makes sense because Twitter is basically, you know, a mini news or search engine. So if you want to turn your Twitter posts into private, you can. All you need to do is you click on where your profile icon is. So you click on it and then you'll scroll down to where it says set it, security and privacy. What you do is you then scroll down to privacy and you will see that you've got different aspects that you can protect. So for example, you may not want people to tag you in photos. Um, you may only want to have people that you follow be able to tag you in photos. You can protect your, your tweets as well, which means that you have to... Um, only future tweets will be available to go public if they've been approved. Um, you can add a location to tweet, so you can turn that off. And you can also change the ways that people can send direct messages to you. So it's a good way of being able to limit the number of people that can have access or view your Twitter profile. The next, social media prof the next social media profile that I'd like to discuss is Pinterest. So Pinterest, again, like Twitter and Facebook, defaults by having your profile as public as possible. If you want to make your profile and your boards private, there's two things that you need to do. One is under edit settings, is you need to select where it says search privacy and move that across to yes to ensure that your Pinterest page cannot be found via search engines such as Google. The other thing that you may wanna do, depending on whether you have a particular 
board that you may not want people to find is you can actually turn a board into what's known as a secret board. So if it's a secret board, it means that it can't be, it can't be found unless if you share the link. So what you do is you click on where it says edit board and then you just move it across to where it says secret and change that to yes. And that means that that board won't be viewable by the public. The panel that we need to discuss is Instagram. Now Instagram is a very interesting one to discuss because it's a mobile application traditionally. So a lot of what you can't, can do on your mobile, you can't do from the desktop, from a desktop computer. And that's a case of your privacy. So what you'll need to do is you actually need to change it using your mobile phone. Now to do that, Instagram has provided some tips on how to do that. So first what you need to do is you go to your Instagram account, you then click on your profile by clicking that thing that looks like a human. And then if you've got an Android, you'll see the top three dots in the top right hand side. If it's an iPhone, you would use the thing that looks like a cog. And then you would turn your account to say private. If your account says private, then it means that only people that you accept are able to view your Instagram photos. So there you go, a quick rundown into how to check your privacy settings when using social media.